What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and as you know at the beginning of every season myself and Coconut Bra put together the top 20 tips and tricks from the previous season that you can bring forward into Operation Void Edge. Now Coconut will have his video out in the next couple of days so keep an eye on his channel for that but we're going to focus in on our 10 here and he will do his 10 on his channel. Now just before we dive into them guys don't forget I'm running a giveaway and I have another giveaway over on Twitter as well so check both of them out they will be down in the description. Now I will be bringing you a brand new tips and tricks video covering most of the Oregon rework in the next couple of days. Now if you have found any tips or tricks that you would like to have featured in that video make sure to join my discord the link again is down in the description. So without me talking anymore guys let's dive in and check out the first trick. So for the first trick today guys, this is the bank spawn peak that I revealed to you guys early on in the season. I've been having so much fun with this spawn peak. Now I know it's toxic as hell, but it is an amazing spot to get that early pick in the round. People will not be expecting you to be up on top of that pot. Now it's pretty straightforward to do. All you have to do guys is by shooting the window and then breaking the side of the pot and the little bush on the top and going in between the pot and the counter to the left, you'll be able to pop up on top of the pot behind you. Now sometimes it can be a little bit glitchy but you will be able to get up there 90% of the time and with a lot of enemies expecting that main door run out, you'll be able to catch them out as they use that wider angle to try and stop that spawn peak. Moving on to our next trick guys and this one is located on the third floor of consulate. Now a lot of people love to sit on those windows when they're pushing the site on the top floor and turn upside down and get that head peek in through the windows into the office. Now when you're down by long desk it is very hard to see the tops of their heads because of the door frame leading out into the hallway. Now I found this really cheeky pixel peak angle that you can stop people from repelling upside down on that window and you can see on screen here all you have to do is by breaking the arm off the bench and lying prone in the doorway of the top of spiral staircase you can actually get a shot on any enemy hanging upside down on that window. Now of course it is a little bit situational with enemies possibly on the roof looking down through the skylight on spiral staircase, you're leaving yourself vulnerable so it would be in certain situations when you know for a fact that the enemies are on the window. And I'm just showing you an example clip of me actually using this in a ranked match and to show you the perspective here of what it's like from the enemy's point of view when they're hanging upside down on the window. So staying on consulate for this next trick guys now and this is just a kind of a bonus trick for some of you OGs you're going to remember this spawn peak where you could get up on top of the railing on the top of spiral. Now the area you used to be able to do it in doesn't work anymore but I found a new way by standing up on the railing on the actual stairs itself and all you have to do is by looking exactly where I'm looking on screen you can vault up on top of the railing. Now by crouch walking very slowly down the railing to when you meet the pillar, you'll be able to peek out that window and catch people who have spawning in the gas station.
Moving on to the next trick, guys, and we have a Valkyrie cam spot to show you here over on Theme Park. Now, by going down stairs into the drug lab, you'll be able to shoot a hole in the ceiling and place a Valcam on the underside of the trash can inside Cafe. Now, obviously, this is a high traffic area, so this is a great cam spot to give your teammates that extra bit of information for enemies pushing towards the objective. So staying on theme park for this next trick guys and this is a hiding spot slash angle located down inside the lab on the first floor. Now this is a little bit of a tricky spot and definitely more an advanced one to get into as it requires very precise movements to get that vault prompt up on top of that shelf. Now what you need to do is by standing on the bags of drugs on the left side of the door and running across to the other side you'll be able to vault up on top of that shelf and be hidden away inside the objective. Now the vault prompt to get on this shelf is on the very right sliver of the container as you can see on screen but once you're up there you have such a great coverage of the objective you can catch enemies out who are pushing in to get that plant down and you can also get an angle through the doorway into the drug storage and out through the window outside Now once again staying on theme park for this next one and this one was sent in to me during the season by Nico or six if you haven't checked him out check out his Twitter he has some insane stuff on there now this one is located just outside in the hallway outside of drug lab and by using buck or a sledge you can open up the wall and quickly get up on top of the vending machine in the hallway now you can shoot over the top of the reinforcement and catch the enemies off guard inside the site now of course it is a risky spot and you could get caught off guard by someone in the hallway but it's still a an interesting one to try out. For this next spot guys this one takes us over onto bank and it's located in the janitor's closet on the second floor now this is an amazing spot if you can get it set up what you need to do is by shooting open a hole in the wall up the right hand side and across the top leaving one section still intact you'll be able to vault onto that wall and then get a vault prompt up on top of the shelf in the corner now not only is this a great hiding spot for enemies trying to push into the janitor to push the site it can also be used for amazing angles if you get one of your teammates to reinforce the wall that you just broke open you can still see over the reinforcement now not only that you can also break open the top of the reinforcement on the actual office wall and you can deny the breaches by thermite by throwing the smoke grenades if you are using smoke over the top of the reinforcement Now for the last section of the video guys this is just a valkyrie cam and maestro cam setup for the dragon area of the reworked theme park so with this double setup you can really take control of that dragon side of the map providing as much information to your teammates of enemies pushing in from that side of the map towards the objectives 
Now, like I said at the start of the video, if there are any tips and tricks on any maps that you would like to have featured in my videos, joining up on my Discord, the link in the description, you'll be able to send in some of your own tips or tricks to have featured on my channel. So that is it for the video today guys, I really do hope you enjoyed it. Now don't forget I have a brand new tips and tricks for the new Oregon rework coming in the next couple of days so make sure you have that notification bell on so you can catch that video. Comment down below what you thought of this video and other things you want to see during this season. I'm going to be pumping out a lot of videos for you guys, I'm going to be a little bit more relaxed and posting a lot more gameplay, more tips and tricks and other styles of videos as well so if there's anything in particular you want to see let me know down below. Now don't forget hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. So until the next time guys, I don't forget to check out the giveaways and I'm streaming over on Twitch every day. We're so close to 10,000 followers so by hitting that follow button over there, I would really appreciate it. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and as always, yeah!